In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses 16 through to 19. But to what shall I liken this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to their companions and saying, We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We mourned to you and you did not lament. For John came either neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton, a wine-bibber, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is justified by her children. In this reading today we read about games that children used to play in the marketplace. Then we have a comparison between John the forerunner, John the Baptist, where he neither ate nor drank. And they, people said that he had a demon with him because of his fasting. Yet Jesus came eating and drinking. And then they say to, about him, Look, a glutton, a wine-bibber, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Jesus' behaviour compared to John the Baptist was virtually the complete opposite. But they weren't happy with either. John the Baptist had a demon in him because he fasted and wore wood funny clothing. He did not wear robes or anything like that. Camel's hair. The opposite to Jesus. Jesus came. He was eating and drinking. And of course, the high priest and the Pharisees were not happy. They called John the Baptist. He had a demon inside of him. That is why he fasted so much. The Son of Man did the opposite. He was eating and drinking with people. They weren't satisfied with that. Because they then said, look, he's a glutton and a wine bibber because he was drinking wine. And of course, that terrible thing, friends of tax collectors and sinners. What is the right way? To be like John the Baptist? Or to be like the Son of Man? Think about it. For the Pharisees, it was a no-win situation, wasn't it? They did not like either way. So what are we called to do? To be like John the Baptist and fast? Or to be like Jesus? Who eats and drinks? His friends with tax collectors and sinners. The Son of Man was showing the love for these people by eating with them and drinking with them. During this season of Advent, this preparation period to celebrate the birth of Christ. There are many things that we need to think about. 
during this part, this preparation period, which also means fasting and prayer. This is good. But then also, too, should we be like Jesus, eating and drinking, being friends with outcasts, the people on the outskirts, or I suppose you could say, or the on the outer in society? What is the correct thing to do? I prefer to follow Jesus. He is my life. He is my example of what I should do. I am not saying that we should not fast. We should not pray. No. What is the priority? What should we do? We should be like Jesus. We should love. Love all men. Whether they're in the inner circle or the outer. There is time for fasting. There is time for prayer. But there is also time to love. We should not get around saying, oh, it's fasting period. I can't do that. I can't go to that group of people because I might have to eat and drink with them. No. We don't go because we have to eat and drink with them. We go to them to show the love of Christ. Fasting and prayer have its own time. As Jesus said in another part of scriptures about when the Pharisees approached him, how his disciples did not fast like John's did. But he said to them, when the bridegroom is present, do you think they should fast? Jesus said there will be a time for that. Think about it. Ask the Holy Spirit to be your guide in these matters. He knows what is right. Pray constantly. Pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for those people on the outer. That God will understand. Most important, Show your love for those outcasts. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.